Hello everyone, welcome back to the Learn Daily Physics and today you can see that we are going to talk about the convective derivatives, what convective derivatives are, why we use convective derivatives and where we use convective derivatives. Today we are going to talk about these. So the equation is quite, its derivation is quite simple but the main thing is that uh, where in the fluid mechanics we use convective derivatives. So the physical quantity, let's talk about that the physical quantities that depends upon position and time, then it required to differentiate with, re with respect to time. Okay, let's talk about that. When some physical quantity is uh, changing with respect to time, and because of that change, there is some change in its position. For example, let's talk about, we have a cup of tea, okay? You have a cup of tea and this is its surface. So what you have is that uh, there is some layer of, layer of cream on that surface of the cup. And what you do is you stir it with the spoon, okay? When you stir it with the spoon, you will see that at the center the cream will stay at its where it is it don't move it uh, it is at its position okay it won't change its position but the cream at the edges will move and start to dissolve in tea in water in coffee whatever that fluid is it will dissolve in it okay now when let's talk about we don't have a cream we have a sugar or salt that particle when dissolve in it it will lose its own identity okay and now with respect to time there is a change in its position so this change in its position is described by convective derivative we are going to derive the derivation then we will look on we have, then we have a deep look on a, 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 another example so which i have written here an example of electric heat water heater so that then you can understand everything clearly so let's start with derivation we say that we have a g any thing or any you can say function that uh, is depending on position x and time t g is any function okay any arbitrary function so g is equals to g x dot x comma t we say that g is a function of x and t now when we take the derivative of this g with respect to time t we know that dg by this is the exact differential is equals to the partial differential equation with partial differential of this function with respect to t and partial t by partial t i'm writing this term first here and this term here so this is how we know that how to write how to write a derivative of uh, two different functions how we write partial differential equations so this is <coughs> partial g by partial t partial t by partial t and now this x term comes here and this is equals to partial g by partial x and then partial x by partial t okay so this was the condition when we were talking about only one dimensional x okay now when we talk about the three dimensional position ve position vectors x y z and the time t then our derivative is similarly this time derivative first we will say is partial g by partial t then partial t by partial t here t will be cancelled out with the with this t and this t and the only term we will have is partial g by partial t now when we talk about this x term similarly as this term comes here we will write this term here then for the y then for the z okay so partial g by partial y and partial y by partial t and similarly for the z so now what we are going to do is we know that this term here is a velocity with respect to x direction okay with uh, within the right direction of x axis and this one is along y axis and this one is along 
z axis. So we will write these as u of x, velocity in the x direction, velocity in the y direction, and velocity in the z direction as I've done here. Okay, u of x, u of y, and u of z. So now what I've done is I've separated these two terms here, this one and this one this one and this one and this one and this one so i've uh, what i've written is i've separated them with dot product you can say that i've separated u of x u of y and u of c here as separate term then the dot product and then this partial z of x partial x i j k and there when you will multiply these this u of x i will be multiplied with this par partial g by partial x i component i component will be multiplied with i th component and j th component will be multiplied with j th component k component will be multiplied with k th component and we will have this term again okay so we can separate this term in this and this will be equals to vector u and this will be equals to divergence we know that the partial by partial x and uh, another thing that we can do is we can separate g here like this i'm doing this with my lead pencil partial by partial x i plus partial by partial y j plus partial by partial z k into g okay so this will be our gradient this will be our del function here delta and this will be equal to del g okay so this term can be written as simply u dot del g so as in the beginning we have considered this g as an arbitrary function here g is any physical quantity that depends upon position and time we said that g is any function or any physical quantity which i have taken in our example next example i have took this as the uh, temperature t so you will make uh, i will make it clear to you so now removing this g here you we will have d by dt is equals to partial by partial t plus u dot del so this is a dot product we can write del dot u or u dot del the commutative law the away commutative law then now we talk about this term that i've told you that when there is a the, when some quantity some physical quantity is having a change in, with respect to time then there is a change in its position you can say x y x j i j k is changing so then there is a change in that function with respect to position so this is what convective derivative is telling us when there is a time when there is a time when there is a change with respect to time there is a change with respect to its position so there is a relation with between time and position because of through convective derivative so physically convective derivative so convective derivative physically means that motion of fluid is time dependent and space dependent okay so in the fluid the motion is time and time and position dependent i've told you earlier now that how it is so let's talk about an example that uh, we have an electric heater let g be the function x and t equals to temperature uh, this was an arbitrary physical quantity or function now this function we named it as for a specific case of electric water heater we named it as temperature so now when the heater is on so let's make our heater first so come on let's make it here and we have our heater let's say that we have a heater like this there is a box and here we have a heating element here we have an heating element so this heating element uh, heats the water so there is a water everywhere inside of this heater so we have a propeller uh, a fan here okay 
we have a fan here which which circulates the water over all the container all over the container so what happens now what happens in this electric heater that when we heat this when this element is provided with the potential difference it starts heating and heating the, it it heats the water near it first okay the water near it will start to to get heated and the partial t by the dt by d d of t temperature by d of t means that the, the temperature the change in the temperature with respect to time is greater than zero this means that as the time will increase the temperature inside of this will also increase okay so now we are talking about that we have a paddle wheels sets up set up a flow pattern now here we have a paddle wheel you can say them some fans or some propellers that propel all the water that distributes that water over all of that hot and cold water less just like in a grinding machine you see that when you put fruits and juice in it it grinds all the things and mix everything up so this is just like that it mix everything up so when this paddle starts then with respect the change in the temperature is also greater the change in the temperature with respect to position is also greater than zero which means that the cold portion the cold portion here is getting hot it mixed with, mixing with the hot one and their position is changing hot water is coming from here let's say that we have cold particle hairs first like this and uh, near it near the filament we have some hot water okay so when this propeller moves what happens that all of these cold and hot water mix up together because of this filament is heating so what happens that the overall water gets heated okay so the the change in temperature with respect to position great gets greater than zero so our convective derivative the equation of derivative convective derivative is d of t d d of g let's say d of g by d of t is equals to partial g partial by partial g by partial t plus uh, what is partial z by partial t partial z by partial what is it it is uh, u dot it is u dot del dot del z okay u dot del z this is what that equation is so now as we have said that in our example g is equals to this g is equals to temperature t so we will replace this g arbitrary function with t temperature okay with t temperature here so now this is a convective equation for uh, this equation is now the convective derivative for the electric heater so this equation describes that as uh, with the change in temperature how we have a change in position so we can write this term this term will go here with this term and it we can rearrange this term minus dt minus u dot del z equals to partial by partial t by partial t so you can also write this term in this form so this is our convective derivative and i hope you can understand that why we use convective derivative because of this example it's more easier to understand 
So thank you very much for your time. Assalamu alaikum and I hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and comment me for if you want any other lectures. Comment me in the comment section and give me a thumbs up if you liked my video. So keep on watching. Assalamu alaikum and thank you very much for your time.